Raven Simone, how are you? I'm well, and yourself? I'm good, thank you. Good. I'm very excited to be interviewing you. I feel like you're one of the few people who's been on my TV screen consistently since I was like probably seven years old. Oh, thank um, you. I'll take that. Thanks for making me feel old. I appreciate <laughs> no, no, that. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> not on, I'm just joking. First on That's a Raven, then The View, and now Raven's Home. Fantastic. So it's been very consistent. Thank um, you. With That's a Raven, you, when you started on that show, you are about 18 years old. 15. 15. When I started on That's a Raven, I was 15 years old. What was it like for you as a 15-year-old to be in that moment with this show blowing up? I have to be honest with you. I had been on television shows since I was three years old, and they were within the top 10 ratings. So I okay. understood what it felt like to be on a show that was doing well. Uh, the feeling differs because I it was resting on my shoulders and it had my name in the title. So uh, having that pressure of performing and making sure that I was on my A game every day, I felt more, not necessarily the show and everybody and what was going through it, but just making sure that I did my best each day and I didn't have anybody else to rely on, even though I had a fantastic cast and I could have relaxed because they were just as amazing as anyone else in this world. And because of them, I got through. Well, now on Raven's home, it's a little bit of a shifted position. You're now in the parent's position. Uh, what is that kind of like for you, uh, thinking back to when you were 15 to now, to be the grown up on the show? Well, I remember on That's So Raven, the grown-ups got a lot more time in their dressing rooms than I did. Okay. And so I was like, yes, I'm a grown-up. I get to spend time in my dressing. Why am I still out here? Yeah. What's happening? Why am I still working so hard? But it's fantastic. I uh, don't have to go to school at the same yeah. time, even though I still do, but yeah. I don't have to go to set school, which is great. And But the, mostly, it's I see these kids working. It reminds me of what I went through when I was a kid. It reminds me of the things that I used to not bring up because I didn't want to rock the boat. So I try my best to call things out that I see that I remember I wish I could speak up about. And hopefully that helps the kids. And you've reunited with Annalise as well on the show. What is it like reuniting with her on the show almost 10 years after the original series launched? Well, the good thing is, is that Annalisa and I have been friends since the end of That's So Raven. Okay. We were in New York together. She visited me on The View. I visited her when she played Belle on Beauty and the Beast on Broadway. And we always spoke about doing something together. We thought about doing a YouTube series for a while together. We did some music together, like on stage, not really recording. And so when the opportunity was presented to me to do Raven's Home, I said, could we please? bring her back and they felt like it was the right idea and I think it was we have a fantastic time on set it's great to be able to have someone that I can be like remember when that was us and we're like <laughs> we're going to our dressing rooms bye <laughs> <laughs> feels kind of good I will say now one of the things that was slightly strange for me watching the show uh, watching Raven's Home was how and it obviously makes sense it's been brought into 2018 and when I used to watch kids TV that nobody had mobile phones and there wasn't social media and now everybody's on their phone and was it important to you to bring the show into the real world that the viewers are living in? Most definitely. It's very important to stay current. It's very important to be relatable. And to do that, you have to incorporate things that people are going through on an everyday basis. So topics, uh, technology, and friendship dynamics, family dynamics. I mean, that's the one thing I love about Raven's Home is that this is what a family of ours looks like, you know? Yeah. And we get along, the, the, the ex-husband is still there when necessary, and that's also good because we also have a amicable relationship and it's, it's positive. So it feels good to bring this type of family into this generation. It also showcases what a family, in, as you said, in 2018 can look like and still be positive because the definition of a family has changed a lot. Um, over the even over the past few years. Yeah, it what, has. What do you feel like are maybe some of the most important topics that as a show you guys can help to address uh, to your viewers? I think the overall topics that we're addressing are confidence in oneself, friendship, uh, family, and how to deal with situations on a positive standpoint and always looking within yourself yeah. so that you can be the best person that you can be. We deal with things like likes and uh, friendship dynamics, like I said, but it's mostly the overall theme is, I got your back, you can go through it, we make mistakes, but as long as you, you know, ask for help and have your family by your side, you can make it through. 
Well, a sequel to That So Raven or a spin-off had been rumoured, probably just mostly from fans wanting it so much, <laughs> for ever since like the original show stopped broadcasting. When you first heard of the idea of Raven's Home, though, what was your immediate response? Why didn't this happen five years ago? <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited when they wanted to bring it back. The trend of bringing back nostalgic shows is in full swing. And I'm so happy that I was able to be the one that they said, you know what? We want to bring you back. I said, thank you so much, thank you so much. That's all I wanted. I mean, playing Raven Baxter was a joy, a dream, a fantastic journey within my lifetime. So being able to play her as an adult is fantastic too. But I believe that this show can stand on its own two legs. If you've never seen Raven Baxter, I think you can still enjoy her and enjoy her as a character now that she's a mother without knowing what she was like as a teen. Yeah. I I mean, absolutely. I'm really excited for a new generation to um, see this character that I would watch whilst having breakfast every morning oh, when I was going you. to school. Both of That's So Raven and Raven's Home have won and been nominated for plenty of awards. Um, and I mean, you were nominated for a Daytime Emmy for this show as well. Uh, what does it mean to you that shows that you've made have had such an impact on so many people? It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it means that... Uh, it means that my hard work is paying off. I go into work an hour before my call time. I'm there all day to make sure that things are working properly. I listen to who I can uh, in, the, in the aspect of supporters, uh, mentors, and things yeah. of that nature. And when you're recognized by the award community, it is a plus. Now, all we have to do is win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just I just want to win. Yeah. <laughs> but that's another thing. We're still working towards, it's great to be nominated, but I want to win. Yeah. <laughs> when you think about the popularity of these shows that you've been on, do you think about just how many people are watching, or does that become a bit overbearing? Yeah, I don't think about who's watching okay. when we make the show. What I think about is if I'm going to enjoy watching okay. it. That's how I make anything that I make. If I'm on it and I'm doing my best and I'm taking myself out of what I'm doing at that moment and kind of watching from afar, I go, would I watch that? That's all that matters to me because I know that I can be proud of my work if I know I can watch it. I'm not going to be able to please everybody and I, w I learned a long time ago that you shouldn't try. It's exhausting and it'll never work. So as long as you can please yourself and you're proud of the material, somebody out there is going to like it. There's enough people in the world for you to get at least five likes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. Well, in the um, vein of it's the future I can see, um, what do you think needs to change in the world over the next, let's say, 10 years? We don't have enough time for that, okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough hours in the day. A lot can change. A lot. Okay. I think that's very fair and a fantastic note to end on as well. Thank you so much for Thank speaking. Thank you very much. And you know what? You can watch Raven's Home on Disney Channel Thursdays, Mondays through Thursdays at 5 o'clock. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.